Here's a Facebook post from New Hampshireite Bruce McMahon, who I think is of either a former or sitting state rep. Quote, why I carry a gun. When I called the NH State Police yesterday to report that swarm of assholes on bikes, note deliberate non-use of the word biker, I got this on the other end of the line. Subquote, you have reached New Hampshire 911. Due to a large volume of calls, your call will be answered in the order in which it was received. Unsubquote. That message played several times before a live dispatcher picked up the phone. And we're supposed to put our lives in the hands of the police voicemail system? Um, no. Unquote. Additionally, I would add that there is another restriction authorities have placed on us. I mean, they, they place some restrictions on guns and on your use of guns. Uh, but the, the, you know, maybe those are not all completely bad. But uh, the, uh, the problem, I guess, in, in the Manchester area, I don't know what's going on where Bruce was, but in, in Manchester there have been some issues with, uh, you know, young people uh, who uh, are sort of in uh, bike gangs, but they're... Uh, they're not uh, motorbikes, they're pedal bikes. You know, at least that's sort of the claim by the police and the mainstream press. I haven't seen much of that myself. But the, the thing, that and also the panhandlers, th those, are, those are two problems that you can deal with by simply filming what's going on. I mean, when a panhandler walks up to you and asks for money, you can just whip out your camera and film him, put him on YouTube. They usually flee the scene. The problem is that uh, New Hampshire's wiretapping law puts a chilling effect on that. So if you're you know, on private property and you're filming this private citizen who's a panhandler, then you're closer to committing wiretapping by doing that than you are by, say, filming a cop or something like that on, on public property. So although I've certainly whipped out my camera on some of these homeless folks, I, I don't... I, uh, I would I will say that there is a chilling effect when it comes to film actually filming them with audio when they're standing right in front of you and and putting them on YouTube. There is a little bit of danger in that simply because there are rare occasions where New Hampshire police will prosecute people for re audio recording someone. The more public your location, the more public the figure that you're audio recording, the safer you are. And these homeless folks don't really fall into either category sometimes. So this is one solution that we could put, you know, in, in addition to these, you know, lo loosening the gun restrictions, which has already happened uh, to a large extent, they could, they could, you know, reduce some of their First Amendment restrictions by removing New Hampshire's wiretapping law.